So how are those Canadian convoy carbon tax protests going? Well, they seem to be really, really hoping they get an influx of people this weekend. Some of them are getting kicked out of the location they've been sleeping. Um, some of them are talking about how this isn't going to be waving flags for a month. They're going to do more. They're planning to do more, which sounds like an escalation will be coming soon. Um, but a lot of convoys say that, and then they fizzle out before anything happens. Right now, the streams just kind of show mud and ice and not much else. Um, some of the groups are spreading around an image saying to tell the RCMP that they actually have the right to block roads if they leave a single lane open. This isn't a real thing, but that's what they're spreading. Um, so we'll see if they try to take advantage of, you know, people that believe that. Um, maybe that's the escalation they are talking about. Um, if you point out it's not true, they just seem to get mad in those groups that are spreading it. Uh, karaoke convoy music, I saw that on one stream. Uh, someone claiming that people that aren't joining the convoys are actually suffering from mental illness. Uh, some of the live streams, you can see their breath because it's cold. Hard to understand people because there's loud generators, you know, burning fuel. Uh, which they're complaining went up in price. Uh, lots of mixed messages because they're talking about living in their cars for the long haul while also some are saying it's ending soon and they're going to escalate. I don't know what what's going on. But why is Marjorie Taylor Greene in my background here? Well, let's see what she said here. Uh, God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent. Earthquakes and eclipses and many other things to come, I pray that our country listens. Well, you see, the eclipse is actually a big talking point in the Canadian convoy carbon tax protest as well. Some fear it's an act of God to destroy society and that when this overcomes the nation, all the phones will stop working and, you know, all sorts of... Some believe the engines in their vehicles will stop working. I guess the carbon tax won't matter then too. Complete crazy stuff there. Um, some fear it's a government plot to shut down the convoy. Uh, I like that one. I like that, uh, you know, these eclipses that... Isn't NASA have them, like, plotted out for, to, like, the year 3000? I guess they're all time for convoy protest, right? Um, some people are spreading a thing in convoy circles as being believed where the government of Canada is going to charge you to look at the eclipse, which isn't a real thing. And quite a few of them have said they're just going to stare directly into the sun. More than you would probably think uh, are flat out just saying they want to stare directly into the sun during the eclipse. And they might, they might go blind. Don't do that. You might go blind. But yeah, um, I was a little busy today, uh, but ugh, it's looking very bad in the Canadian convoy protest front because they've got, mm, I don't want to put this. There's more people than you might expect if you like count them all together, but that's because it's small groups spread out. They're all like local, which means they also don't have enough people to have any impact whatsoever anywhere doing anything. I think they might get some people this weekend, especially if the weather's better, but I mean, I expect by Monday it'll just die out. Kind of like what happened with the the campground they were all excited for. We're going to stick around Ottawa till, you know, and that didn't happen. I expect the same thing. I really do. And you watch the live streams and you see a lot of the same people saying a lot of the same things. They'll be shocked when it ends the same way. <laughs>